There we go. Oh, that's a big fish. That is a big brown trout. Holy crap. Oh, come on. Get in the net. Oh, oh, holy crap. Look at the size of this brown. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Fly Fish Dan. I'm still way up in Colorado, just exploring and doing some fishing. I'm heading up to a reservoir today that's at a higher elevation than I've ever fished. I mean, it's nearly at 10,000 feet. And those of you that are in Washington, that's like fishing up at Camp Muir. I mean, that's an incredible amount of elevation and never been up this high fishing. But got some good reports on this reservoir that it's got some big fish in it, tiger trout, rainbow brown so hopefully we'll get into one of those fish this morning but what a what a glorious sunrise i mean holy smokes i started the drive early because i wanted to see that and we saw i saw a uh, big herd of elk on the way up here and the drive is absolutely gorgeous i mean just it just doesn't get any better and i haven't seen one person on the road as of yet i mean it's just just crazy you have to love colorado i mean holy smokes well let's keep uh, headed down the road and enjoy the scenery and and get on the lake and do some fishing all right everybody thanks for joining me this morning and fish on we are on the lake i've got a couple setups with me i got my three weight with a little uh kind of a jig leech this thing's been pretty effective in still water and then down in the holster i've got my five weight and i'm not quite sure what i'm going to put on that yet but for now, it's got a big old streamer that I was using on the river, but let's get a line out there and see if we can catch a fish. Let's do this fish on. Well, I just walked up on a fish that was sitting right there. So I guess that's a good sign. It almost looks like they're eating something on top. All right, tied on this tiny, teeny little midge. I, I almost, I almost would rather not even fish this fly, but you know, I feel like I have to when they're rising all around me like this. I mean, you literally can't see it, so I'm gonna just have to react to a fish that uh, is rising near me. All right, I called an audible. Um, after fishing just a little bit on that reservoir, you know, there were some guys out there throwing big lines in with bells on top of their 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 rods, and it just wasn't the experience I was looking for. There were some big fish, you know, uh, swimming around, but I thought, nah, you know, I can, I can fish places like that in Washington. So I decided to uh, map out a creek, which is right below me, and I'm gonna go see if there's any fish living down there. All right. We'll see if we can catch a fish. Let's do this, fish on. Well, it appears that I have found the mouth of this creek. I'm just gonna tie on this little leech here. Throw it out the edge and see what happens. There we go. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh my God. That was not expected. Holy crap. That is a big brown trout. Holy crap. Oh, come on. Get in there. Holy crap, look at the size of this brown. Oh, seriously guys, this is a 20 inch brown. I mean, this is a big fish. Look at the size of this thing. Look at the blue on his cheek. Wow, that's a pretty, pretty fish. <laughs> Man, oh my God. 
Look at the size of this fish. Oh, holy crap. Oh my God, fish on. Wow, I did not expect that. Seriously, I didn't expect to catch a 20 inch brown. I thought I snagged something on the bottom and it turned out to be just a big old giant fish. So I think I'm gonna go down a little bit further on the, uh, on the I'm not sure if this is a lake or reservoir, but just kind of fish the edges before I head up the creek. That was pretty cool. It was a good change up from the reservoir to here. All right. Let's go see if we can catch another fish. Let's do this, fish on. Look at the size of this brown. Oh my God. Oh. Seriously guys, look at the size of this brown. Oh, his jaws hooked in, hooked in the net. Look at this guy. That is a big fish. All right, let's get this guy released. Seriously, look at the size of this brown. That is a big brown. Wow. Oh my God. I am in just in shock. I'm so glad I decided to come down here. This was the Colorado experience I was looking for. Those are some of the biggest browns I've ever caught in my life. They are bigger than uh, what I caught in central Oregon a few weeks ago. Unbelievable, but I gotta be up on the bank to be able to sight cast for them because they're just cruising around these rocks. Really big fish down there. Wow. Let's see if we can get another one. Let's do this fish on. There we go. Oh, he ate it. Another giant brown. Oh my God. Oh, I gotta get down there again. I have to be up on the bank to be able to sight cast for him. Unbelievable. Let's make it down without killing myself. Oh. oh, wow. Another huge stinking brown, my God. <laughs> oh, this is a big fish. Oh my God. I'm hooked. Look at the size of this thing. Look at this thing. That's a big fish. Come on, buddy. I want to show you. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I wish you can see down in the water. Which I'm seeing. It's really clear. Fish are just cruising down there by the rocks. There we go. Fish on. Oh, I let that one sink way down there. Oh, it's another giant fish another big brown are you kidding me time to get this guy in oh it's a big fish Another well over 20 inches. This thing is huge. It's like, no. Come on, buddy. Oh. oh, it's exhausting. So you can see my strategy is to just, oh, look at that fish right there. <laughs> he just came zooming up on me. Wow. So my strategy is to let it sink and then do a quick strip strip and then stop. And strip, strip, but stop. And it seems to be working. So I let it sink. And that fly's got a big tungsten bead. There he is. There he is. Oh. oh wow. That's the same fish that just zoomed up on me. Oh, 
Jeez. Another just lunker. Big fish. Big fish. He's talking to you. Kind of skinny. Still. Not complaining. Wow. What? What a great move. I mean, it just goes to show you too, right? I had planned to stay at that reservoir all day long, but I wasn't getting into any fish and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go chase the blue line and see if I can find a better spot. And I ended up finding a spot that no one else was here and 20 plus inch brown trout to my surprise. I was planning on fishing the creek, but then found its mouth and wow, definitely got what I was looking for. That Colorado big brown trout experience, so cool. Thanks for joining me on that too. Something to think about, right? You don't always have to stick to the same plan. One of the things that garners me success when I'm fly fishing is that I'll change it up, right? If I'm not finding fish, I'll go find a spot that might have fish. So don't just grind it out of one spot if the bite ain't happening. Sometimes it turns on, but sometimes, just like this time, it's just better to go find a new spot. And hey, I'm a, uh, if you're, Sorry, 9,000 feet elevation. It's getting to me. <laughs> I'm not used to that, that elevation when I live at sea level at Washington. But hey, if you wanna, I'm gonna put all the Colorado series together, so I really appreciate you joining me. If you want some good television time to watch a bunch of Colorado fishing, check out this video right here. I'm sure you'll probably enjoy it. All right, everybody, until the next time, sorry about the wind and fish on.